Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to have uh, Bella give this talk this afternoon. Uh, Bella Bolobash has revolutionized probabilistic combinatorics and random graphs in particular. We really can't think of this subject without his fundamental contributions. And often when you look at his work, you think this must be a team, not a single man. Um, yeah, so without further ado, please. Thank you very much indeed. Actually, is the microphone switched on? Sorry. OK, I mean, it's not for you. I assume it's not for your benefit. But yeah, so um, as the, the title says, I shall talk about percolation. But uh, uh, strictly speaking, it should be essentially one pretty large theorem. But I shall not really get to proving it at all. In fact, I shall get to stating it only after quite a while. Uh, mostly because I think not everybody in the room is an uh, expert on percolation, so I shall try to give at least the, the basic facts about, about percolation. So if, if all goes well, then I shall mention the, these topics, some, some introduction, classical results, and this should be really the the, the, the new bit, which is with Oli Oliver Reardon, as I said at the beginning as well. And just in case you think I can draw a figure, I can assure you I can't. Uh, ev every good figure was drawn by Oliver. All the clumsy ones are due to me. So uh, what's, what about critical probabilities? Um, even if you are if you hardly ever heard of anything in percolation theory, you would have heard of this particular result, really the basic result, that the critical probability of bond percolation on the square lattice is, is one half. And it seems extremely na na natural. I'll return to it several times. But still, one part that the probabilities at most was proved by, by Harris, and uh, sorry, at, at least was proved by Harris, and at most by Keston only 20 years later. Now, a uh, little less obvious uh, uh, critical probability is bond percolation uh, triangular lattice. Actually, I shall go back and define what percolation is, but, but roughly I think everybody know, know, knows it anyhow. So here the critical probability was determined by, by John Weirman uh, soon after Keston proved his, his famous result, although the result had been conjectured almost 20 years earlier. And here the, uh, the, the critical probability is a little less obvious. There is pi over 18 appearing, uh, uh, which people in Microsoft research would think that I missed out the square. But, uh, but actually, I, I, I didn't. I mean, uh, but there is a sign to replace the, the square. OK, uh, now let, let's make it a little less, less simple. Let's, let's introduce some complications. So suppose we have got a triangular lattice, but let's focus on, on every sec second triangle. Actually, I do have a pointer, but, but I have only one right hand. Uh, okay, and uh, so, so let's define a, a, a percolation measure. Let's define some kind of as, as follows: uh, put in edges originally nicely at random, exactly with the same probability as one, one always does. But but then uh, suppose there is some interaction between the bonds as it's described there. Uh, and then the obvious question is, OK, for what value of p do we have uh, percolation? And another example uh, would, would be this, this pretty lopsided 
set up where the probability that none of the three sites, so these are not connected within a block, is some probability p, that these two are connected, but those two are, are not, is, is q, and, and uh, that they are not connected at all, uh, uh, zero, and so all, all connected has probability one, uh, one, r. So is the setup clear? Oh my. I thought I put, took it out of my pocket and left it in the office, but. Yes, 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 I'm sorry. P, P plus Q plus R is one, of course. So is, is, is it clear? So, so we have a chance of having in this bond and not those two, we have some chance of having all three connected, whether using two bonds or all three bonds, we don't care. Uh, and we have no chance of, of con connecting tho tho those two. So, uh, only, yeah. Okay, uh, so here are some, some peculiar examples, but the reason for everything I'm, I'm uh, saying today is uh, some work done by Ziff and Ziff and Scalar and several papers about four years ago where they made several observations. Uh, the main thing was that in, in, in several uh, rather peculiar cases, they could say that, ah, the critical probability is such and such. But again, these were just predictions, although they uh, pretended a little that they were in fact proved, but, but they were not, of course. And uh, as it became clear because Weirman and Ziff proved criticality in some of the cases they predicted the value. Okay, so now with Ol Ol Oliver. When you mean prediction, you mean exact prediction? Or? Yes, exact prediction. No, as, 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 as it was earlier, I mean, e even in 1959, as soon as Hammers, uh, Broadbent and Hammers introduced percolation, they said, ah, and for the square lattice, the critical probability is one half. Yeah, but that was in 58 or 57, 58. It was obvious it was one half. And then in 1960, Harris proved one bound, and 20 years later, and, and of course the problem acquired more and more, more weight, more and more notoriety, and then when uh, Keston proved it, it was a, a very big result. Similarly, this way, so they could predict uh, using. We'll we'll go back to it. Okay, so so now uh, I shall define a rather general class of models, and I shall say that we have pr uh, shown that uh, these uh, predictions are actually valid, and we shall. What what we have done is we have determined the, our general result contains uh, uh, all these self dual. Uh, all the results concerning self-dual points. In some sense, the main thing is that we had to use new methods to get these. Okay, so, so still back, back to this simple example. Um, what, what we shall have is, is um, for, for example, some kind of a triangular lattice. It will be infinitely more complicated in a, in a moment. But then some rule telling us in which way to, to join the various sites in, the, in these sh shaded regions. So uh, we have some connecting mechanism uh, drawing the same uh, picture as, as curved lines. So we have got the shaded triangle, and, and in each triangle there is some black box which tells us that the probability that, let's say, within this particular triangle uh, you can go from A to C, but neither from A to B nor to B to C. In other words, this edge is in and those two are not in, has this probability. And, and another black box will tell you that, that the probability that they are all, all in has this probability, which can arise in, in four different ways. Either all bonds are in or just two of the bond, bonds are in. Uh, we, we don't have many possibilities because uh, the triangle has only three sides. Uh, so, often, 
this, this black box is attained by putting in some, some generator in, in, a, uh, in, 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 in a shady triangle. So for example, here the generator put in has, has this particular shape. And then the natural thing would be, here, this is your lattice. OK, let's say all of them have this, all bonds have the same probability. What is the critical probability? And, and what, what I'm going to say tells us instantly what this probability is. OK, uh, now the, uh, to make sure that we have the right notation, so for example, PAB or PAB bar C is the probability that the bonds are in in such a fashion that within the black box you can go A and B are in the same component and C is in a different <coughs> component. And uh, an immediate consequence and really one of the e easiest consequences of our main result is that if you have a, a triangular, uh, if, if in your, uh, your, your setup every black box is a triangle, every polygon in, in the model is a triangle, then all that matters is whether the probability that they are all connected is bigger than the probability that no two are connected. The rest, rest is irrelevant. So if they are all, the probability of connecting all of them is strictly greater than the probability of, of connecting no, no, no two. Some of us are busy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, poor Venki, I'm sorry. <laughs> but he has three phones, so he's three times, at least three times as likely to get a phone call as any one of us. Okay, so, and, and the other way around. One of them called the other. So yeah, that, that's what he says. Occasionally, one, one phone calls the other, and then, and then he, he, he doesn't have to do anything. Okay, so, so uh, that's, that's what, what uh, will come. Back to the very beginning, the 57, was the beginning of everything, Broadbent and Hammersley. On the previous slide, it was to come what is rainfall. Oh, no. no. Then, then, uh, uh, this result has nothing about it. And, and, and in fact, we, we, we don't know whether, whether uh, it percolates or not. I mean, there's no, 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 no result about that. And uh, quite, quite a, I, I shall return to it. Uh, much of the future work should center on exactly what happens at, at the critical probability. So we'll, I'll go, go uh, turn to it several times. Wait, I think I'm going backwards. Ah, good. OK, so, so um, well, just a historical peculiarity that uh, percolation was introduced almost exactly the same time when the theory of random graphs was started by Erdős and Rényi. And still, for 30 years or so, uh, there was no, no connection between the two. And now there is a lot of cross-fertilization. Now, now it, it really is one subject at, at, at long last. So uh, what, what's, what's the setup? We have in percolation, rather than just having a nice finite graph, which is often the complete graph, in percolation we have an infinite graph, which is almost always lattice-like or, or an actual lattice. Uh, and uh, because it was introduced by Hammersley, he used different terminology, si site and bond, uh, and so on. So uh, the point is exactly as in the theory of random graphs, every bond, for example, can be in one of two states, open or closed. Open really counts that it's in the random graph we are taking. Uh, and, and there is some measure which tells us in what way these uh, selections happen. And of course, you can, you can read everything quite a bit quicker than I, I, I should say. So let me just pass on to it. Um, now, the easiest, and really the, by, by far the easiest percolation measure is one in which everything in sight is, is, is independent. So you have got the probabilities of various bonds or sites, and, and everything is independent. This is really the classical case studied by, by hundreds of people. OK, for an, any site, let CX be the component of the 
uh, formed by the bonds or sides you have selected. And theta is the probability that this component is inf infinite. And then the critical probability is the place where this theta goes from zero to non-zero. So that, that seems to be a very meek transition, but uh, zero one law tells us instantly that we can make it look much more dramatic like, like that. So, so below the critical probability, almost surely there is no infinite cluster. Above it, almost surely there is an infinite cluster. The two are trivially equivalent. Now, uh, it's not that, I mean, this one looks somewhat similar to, to this triviality, but, but this is far from a triviality, just to mention a, a result, a little basic result of Menshikov, which says that below the critical probability, it's not only that you don't have an infinite open cluster, but uh, the, the component of the origin or any site you care to name shows exponential decay. So the probability that it's large is exponentially small. And one could define the same for selecting sites rather than bonds, They're irrelevant. OK, what about examples even I could draw? The square lattice, triangular lattice, hexagonal, ka ka kagome, and, and even the Archimedean lattices are getting, getting a little more complicated. Uh, and, and that is, for example, this one, the Martini lattice uh, of a scalar. Um, I think a little imagination does, does, does tell you what, what do you see here. Raj, what do you see? Pan? I think you used to mix the Martini. Really? No, I see Martini glasses. Really? Ah, OK. No, for me, these are martini glasses as they are usually stacked. I mean, here, here, the, the, here is the, the glass and the, the stem. Yeah, OK. Uh, but, but it's, a, again, if somebody, and, and that was a genuine question, here is a, a very simple kind of lattice. Suppose every bond has the same probability. What is the critical probability? OK. Uh, so these are the basic questions, uh, but the, the, the critical pro study of critical probability, uh, probabilities uh, was really fashionable at the beginning. I mean, now we would like to do much, much more. We are really interested in what happens at the, at the critical probability. It would be wonderful to know what, what happens there. In particular, here is this big, big question. Uh, do we have conformal invariance in various cases. And, and uh, of course, it's, it, it seems that, OK, officially, this question is independent of the critical probability. But, but in fact, when it's the only case in which it has been determined, the cr critical probability was as simple as possible. So, so there is some point in starting it, uh, try, trying to prove that the critical probability is such and such, and then maybe uh, one can get, get conformal invariance in a different way. OK, uh, so bond, bond percolation, again, there is some origin. Some, some bonds are selected. We are interested in the component structure. OK, why, why is the critical probability of the square lattice 1 half? Now, if you ask essentially anybody, especially not in percolation, then he will tell you that, of course, he knows it. It's because it's. Uh, self-dual, and, 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 and this, this statement is meant as a, as a proof of, of the fact that the critical probability is one half. But this is complete rubbish. I mean, I mean uh, I'm afraid Hammersley knew in 1957 that the square lattice was self-dual. I mean, that's not exactly a deep, deep fact, and still they had no chance of proving the uh, actual fact. Uh, I, I had a long argument with Don Zegger about this point. He felt that... That, it, that he knew it. That That's he it. it. Yeah, uh, just yeah. from the self-duality, it should be trivial. Uh, absolutely, yeah, exa exactly. Which is why it took Keston only 20 years to, 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 to prove it. I mean, but <laughs> yeah, so now, uh, uh, actually, look, look, looking at, at this, this thing, you, you do see 
uh, that, that if you take uh, an n plus 1 by n grid and you take its dual the way I have taken, so the dual will be an n by n plus 1 grid, then it is a coffee time problem, but not, not entirely trivial coffee time problem, that no matter how you put in uh, various bonds, so in what, what way you assign various states to the bonds in the original grid, and you tr transfer it to the dual by putting in a, 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 a putting in a bond when the other one is not in, and vice versa. So at every crossing, exactly one of the two bonds should be in. So no matter how you assign states to the original lattice, there is either a crossing, a left-right crossing in the original, or a uh, top top to top bottom crossing in the dual, which tells us instantly that the, the probability, if you put in a, a bonds with probability one half, then the probability that you find a crossing from left to right, you find a left-right crossing, is exactly one half. Okay, it's a, it's a hundred and one by hundred, but it's the same as, as a square. So essentially it tells us that in a square the critical probability is one, sorry, the probability of crossing a square left to right, uh, if the bonds are selected with probability one half is exactly one half. So that, that's what it, it tells us, but it's very far from a proof, and that's the, again back to the history. Uh, now, now, now we, we do have a really essentially trivial proof uh, with Oliver, which, which uh, rather annoyed lots of people, uh, but, but but if you look at Grimmett's book, then, then he proves this result on page 175 or what, what, whatever. And, and in fact, you can do it very, very quickly and, and without any, any dirt flying around using results which were not available to Kasten at the time. OK, uh, triangular and hexagonal. Again, there were these guess, guesses, but proved only only later. OK, let's, let's go to closer to what, what we really are interested in. Uh, weighted plane let, let lattices. So we start with a nice graph, discrete vertex set, and, and let's let it have a lattice structure in the sense that we have two independent translations uh, um, uh, under which the lattice is invariant. And, uh, Way, it's weighted because every edge carries its own weight, its own probability. And let's call it symmetric if uh, the reflection in the origin uh, gives you an isomorphism. Now, what's, what's the du dual? I mean, again, we, we get the dual, but you always have dual. Dual edges are crossing, and they come in pairs. And to get the dual probability distribution, uh, assign 1 minus the probability of the original edge to the, to the du dual edge. OK, uh, so here is a, an absolutely quintessential plain lattice, which was obviously drawn by me. Uh, actually, well, let's go. This really is a result of Kasten, but, but he didn't quite, no, he didn't dot the eyes at all, and Grimet had plenty of of I, eyes to dot to get the result. So if the horizontal and vertical bonds are put in with two different probabilities, rather than P and P, but you use P and Q, then, then what is the condition on P and Q to get percolation? And the, and, and the result is that P plus Q is greater than 1. OK, uh, what, what, what about symmetric? These the, the symmetric plane lattices and, and um, so, so little d deeper results. Let me just say these two results uh, with, with o o Oliver. Uh, actually, it's not quite clear what the point is of, of having a project where you can see it, but just about. I mean, surely if you, look, if you look at the screen and you see one which is half hidden, which one do you read? The one you can. You should read, or the one of, of, of course you read the one which is half hidden. So, so, 
So it's, it, it is a bit silly. Uh, that's the aim. That's the aim, to emphasize it. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I didn't think of that, but, but then it should be the other way around. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so first, uh, no matter what distribution we have, either in the original or in the dual, we do not have percolation. That's and uh, as a, a, a cons consequence is, is that if it's a, sorry, the only, the only condition needed was the symmetric. And, and it's important, the more symmetry we have in the structure, the easier our proofs are. Being symmetric is just about the weakest you can, you can get away with, and one has to work quite a bit harder to prove it than if you have, as they used to have, uh, two, two axes of symmetry, for example. Do you call what is symmetry? symmetric? Oh, sim simply uh, centrally symmetric, symmetric in the in the origin. That 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 that's all. So just just one, and and uh, and there used to be results which said that ah, if it's at least sixfold symmetry or whatnot, then it goes. If it's only if it's four, then it, then it goes, and and that, that's about the, the weakest. Okay, there there is another another ingredient or or I mean which which looks like the kind of things we, shall, we, ha we have used, and it has been used a, a, lo a lot uh, to give various predictions and, in fact, to, to get results later. So uh, suppose in our graph there is a triangle, and then instead of taking the triangle, let's put in a new vertex and join this new vertex to, the, to, the, to these three vertices with three edges. Now, uh, the, the question is, under what conditions? So, so you have some probability in a, in a moment. I think we have it. Uh, oh, that's not going, going back. So, so with some probability P, OK. I'm sorry, it does say it. So these are in with probability P. Those are in with probability R. Is there a choice of P and R su such that, uh, as far as the outside world is concerned, these three sides behave exactly the same way as those three sides? So when you take this unit, this little gadget connecting them in a, in, in, in a triangle, in, in, let's say in one of these shaded triangles, then the two behave exactly the same way. So is, is there such, such, such a pair? And uh, to, why doesn't it go? So what, what, what is this that extremely simple question? So what we want is that the probability that within a region, within a triangle, all are connected in one should be the same as in the other. So all connected in one will be whatever. Either all are connected or at least two are, or two are connected and the third is not connected. This is the first expression. Or they are all connected from, from the star. Okay, so. And, and, and so on. So what uh, conditions do we want? We want whether these are the same for some choice of P, P and R. Uh, we do have three equations, and of course, it's not a condition. So uh, it's not, not entirely obvious that there is such a choice of, of P and R. But uh, if we set R to be 1 minus P, then two become the same. We are left with, and satisfied, we are left with a single equation, name, name, namely this one. So for this particular value of p, the, the star and the triangle give exactly the same black, black box. Uh, and using exactly that, they, 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 they made the, this guess that this was the critical probability of of the triangular lattice in the bond case. And this is the one that was proved by, by John Weirman quite a bit later. Now, uh, let's, let's see how, how it can genuinely be ap applied to connect various, various la lattices. T let's take the triangular lattice and, and uh, view it as, as a union of these uh, you, you, units uh, where all the connections happen within a unit. 
And now, from what we know, is if you choose the probabilities of these edges appropriately, and you, and you replace all three edges by, by, uh, by, by a star with a different probability, then globally nothing has changed. I mean, if you have a long path, then of course you will have exactly the same long path. Okay, it may be twice as long or, or whatever, irrelevant. It, it goes roughly from one place to roughly the other, the other place. Okay, okay, so, so if, they are, if, if uh, we, we, we choose them, then, then one, one goes into the other. And uh, what, what you get if you go from the triangle, you get the, you get the hexagon. So it, it tells you that the, these two uh, behave exactly the same way. So uh, here, here is the, a, a proof of, of Weirman's we, theorem. In the coupling, provided the probability of a triangle or edge is p naught, and in the hexagon now we choose the dual one, one minus p naught, as we knew, uh, the two percolations are equivalent. Whenever you find a long path in one, you find essentially the same long path in, 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 in the other. So uh, if that is the case, then, then of course it has to be true. Either both are supercritical or both are subcritical. Uh, yes, but uh, what, what, what I told you a little while ago, that we know that they, they go against each other. So if one is supercritical, the other one is subcritical, in the dual is subcritical, and vice versa. I put simply applying it to, the, to this triangle, star triangle uh, transformation, we know instantly that they are, they are both critical. Somehow it doesn't want to go. Okay, now we are getting to, uh, to the actual, actual topic, and here really my, my, my aim is just to get it, get it across what, what the whole setup is, and I shall say very, very little about, about the rest. So, uh, again, we have got lots of sides, vertices, and rather than edges, we have got polygons put, put, put down. We have got these hyper edges, a set, set of polygons. All the time so far, I have been harping at, at these triangular ar arrangements. And you can view those, that, it, that was exactly a hypergraph in which every face was a, uh, 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 or every edge was a, was a triangle. So we need, we need the obvious conditions. The vertices should form a discrete set. The interiors should be disjoint connected. Um, and uh, there shouldn't be no, uh, shouldn't, should be no accumulation point. Uh, everything, is, every, all degrees are finite. Uh, and uh, and, and any time two hyper edges meet each other, they meet each other, of course, in a vertex. OK, so what's, what's, what's an e example? Here, here is an example of a, of, of, a, of a hypergraph, a plain hypergraph. This is an edge, and that is an edge, and that is an edge. But, but, but rather than just drawing it as a usual edge, let's make it a little thicker, and, and, and so on. OK, so once again, the setup will be that in each edge, we have got a black box, which tells us which way the various sides are joined, or with what probability they are joined. Uh, and the question is, uh, under what distribution do we have percolation in the whole lot? And now, um, how should percolation, how, how do we think of percolation? That within a black box, where there, is, there are no edges, it may not be, it need not be realizable. It need not be realizable by a plane graph at all. There's just black box, it tells you that uh, with probability 10 to the minus 10, you, you, you can go from, you can go, all, all across, or with probably one over ten, you can go from here to there, but not not there. What what whatever. Um, the, the the other picture would be more the, the way we would we would think think about it. We would uh, replace every k gon by a two k gon, and would replace every vertex of degree uh, incident with k 
with D hyper edges by a 2D gone. And not even Paul is supposed to sleep. His jet lag should be over. <laughs> no, that's, that's all right. I, I, I'm used to waking people up. <laughs> and and uh, it's much harder in a class where I don't know the names. But, uh, <laughs> but there I have to rely on t-shirts and whatnot. So the, the, even the person in the pink t-shirt should know the answer to this question. And it usually works. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll I return to this picture a li little bit later in, in in a second. So so here here is the setup, and these are the hyper edges, and then let's say they are shaded vertices, black, and there is some region in between. The the regions in between are the faces of the of the whole setup, uh, and and then we would like to define the dual. Uh, how? Uh, of course, exactly as we always do. So, so we put, put, a, put a vertex in each face, and then for every, every edge, every hyper edge, define a dual hyper edge. What will it be? Uh, the, the, the dual of this particular edge will be one, the, will, will be the hyper edge which has vertices he, a vertex here, a vertex there, 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 these four. So they, they would look, look, look like that. OK. Uh, and then, again, what's a plane hyperlattice? Exactly what we had, plus two uh, independent uh, tra translations under which it's invariant. So here is the, the picture of, of what I have been poking at a minute ago. So for a face, the, the dual. Would, would be, for example, for example, like that. And if you look, look at this picture, for, uh, you see immediately that this particular arrangement of, 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 of faces is, in fact, self-dual. Look at the faces in the other case. It's, it looks exactly the same, uh, translated by one. OK, but we don't really know what what dual measure to define. It was extremely easy in the case of edges, because we just said there is an edge. The probability of the, in, in the dual, the, the edge will be 1 minus this probability. Now, here, it's, it's not, not like that at all, because we have lots of, lot, lot, lots of uh, uh, distribution. So, so a, a k phase, a k hyper edge, really has officially two to the k states. And we would have to say what, uh, what the translation is. Yeah, but actually, we, do, we shall not take all of them, because we can't deal with them. But we shall take only plain partitions. So uh, it, it says so that given a polygon, the vertex set, uh, and, the, and the partition, uh, the partition is, is a plain partition if essentially it can be realized by an internal tree. That, that's ex ex exactly what, 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 what it says, so into the forest. Uh, so no, no two of its par parts interlace. So again, what's the partition? When, when we have some, the black box will tell us that you can join A to C and B to, to E and, 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 and F, G, and K all, all together, and so on. I mean, this would be a, a state. That's what the black box will tell you. You can go. From this, you can run around in this group, in that group, in that group. Uh, OK, but we take only the plain partitions. So, so those, is, is it fairly Paul, now that you are awake, is, is it clear what, the, what a plain partition is? No. No. Not as such. Uh, okay, oh. OK, so, so suppose this is one part, and, and this is another part, and this is the third part. Is this a plain partition? Uh, 
one part, another, another class, third class. Is it a plane partition? No. Yeah, absolutely correct, because the, these two, this one and that one, are interlaced. I mean, and that, that's what I mean. Which is exactly the same that there is no way of putting a forest into the face which tells us which bits are connected. Because you would have to put in something which connects these two, and you would have to put in an edge which connects those two, and it contradicts planarity. OK, so that, that's what uh, the plane partitions are. Now, what about the jewels? Ah, that, that's, that's extremely easy. Uh, again, you, you, you think, of course, in the dual, you have a vertex in each face ne next to it. And, and you just ask yourself, if you have the partition inside as prescribed, are, can these two be in the, are, are these two in the same part? And, and, and what, what's, what's the, the verdict? Of course, there is no way of, of getting from there, there to there. So these two are in different parts. And, and these two are in different parts. Uh, yeah, but, but let's, let's take a, a sort of more nor, normal example. For example, OK, so one, two, three, and then, and then uh, the, these two are the same, and, and this, this is the, the third class. Now, that, that is definitely a plane partition. Uh, and what, what, what is the dual partition? What is this one connected to? It's single. Correct. It, it's not connect, can, can't be connected to anything. It would be interlaced. What about what about this one? Which is it? Which is it connected to? At 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 at, at the top. Uh, what about these? This one is again single, and these two are connected. So the dual of that partition is one in which you have two singles and two pairs, as as as, as it happens. And, and, and anyhow, so, so that's, that's the set, 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 set up. Uh, and in, a triangle, in the case of a triangle, it's, ex, it's extremely easy. It's, it's, it's um, exactly uh, invariant. OK, what, what about uh, uh, this, this martini lattice? Uh, take uh, what P1 for the star bond, where is this for? This is the problem. This, this has probability p1, and those have probability p2. If you view it like that, then of course this gives you a, an interpolation between the hexagonal and the and the triangular la, la, lattices. And uh, if you consider this as a as a generator, then of course that that's that's exactly what 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 will 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 have. So, and if you view the whole thing as one one triangle. Then the dual of that triangle, of course, is this triangle. OK, I mean, we have to apply symmetry to go from one to the other. But, but they, you have a chance of being, being self-dual. And when they are self-dual, then we, we have got exactly the critical probability. OK, uh, of course, we, to get any, anywhere with percolation, we need measures. We have some percolation measure on the set of configurations which are produced by some random things. But the main thing is that different hyper edges produce uh, whatever you, you see in a hyper edge is independent is, uh, from whatever you see in every, every other hyper edge. So hyper edges are independent of, of, of each other. And percolates if there is infinite component. And then what we are interested in is this hyper lattice percolation model. OK, and, and the, the dual is exactly as, as I already dis described. But, but one, once again, uh, every partition uh, gives you a dual partition, and, and the probability will be just, just the same as, as, as before. Uh, and that, that was exactly what happened in the original case. I, I, I hope it's clear that we, ha we haven't cha changed anything. Uh, in, the, in the case of. 
normal bond percolation, when one edge is in with probability p, then, then the, the dual edge is in with probability 1 minus p. But that is exactly the same that it's not in with probability p. And the dual of the partition in this ridiculously simple two-point space, the dual is, is, is exactly, is exactly that one. So, so it's, it's the, the exact cor correspondence. I, we haven't, haven't cha changed any, anything whatsoever. Now, uh, yes, but now uh, the, the state, we have lots of states and, uh, and lots of measures. A measure is one that assigns to each state a, a probability. So unlike in the sim simple case where we had just one up and down thing, here we have measures on, on these posets, measures on partitions. Partitions form a nice, nice poset, and then uh, the obvious thing that a percolation measure dominates one if on every upset it's bigger, provided this upset is non-trivial. And here is the, the main theorem I sort of ma mentioned already, but now, now we, we should more or less un understand what, what it says. So if we have a self-dual hyperlattice percolation model, with probability p, where remember p is a distribution. P is, uh, p is a distribution on all planar partitions of the, of the edges. Uh, if you have another probability measure on, on these, which strictly dominates p, in that case, that, that you get percolation. If it's strictly below, then, then we have exponential decay. But uh, in particular, HP is, is critical. Uh, notice that here much, much more is missing than in the other cases, because uh, we carefully require that it's a strict domination. For every upset, we have strict domination. And that's not what should, we should have. We should have that if there is, it's always at least, and there is one poset in which is strictly bigger, then it, then it should be true. But we, 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 we can't prove it. OK, and there's a corollary. We get, we get exactly what there's this very simple case, the triangular case, where all that matters is whether it's cheaper to connect all three vertices than, or it's more likely to connect all three vertices than none or the other way around. And uh, it implies ab absolutely everything I mentioned earlier. In, for the Martini lattice, it, it's a tiny bit of calculation. You just write down your, 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 your equation that uh, everybody in, part three, in the part three exam could write down. Uh, oh, except Dominic. Oh, my god. Oh, horrible. Yeah, almost everybody could write down. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and the result is one, one, one over square root two, which is a nice, 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 n very nice result. Okay, what, what, what about the to tools? Because in many ways, this is the, the, the main, main thing that, that we, we want more tools to, to get things, to prove things. Uh, here are four of the uh, two tools, four bits we, we have used. Some correlation inequality one wants. Surely ev everybody knows, in fact, uh, usually people know as the FKG inequality, which really is just Harris's lemma, that in a, let's say, in a cube, upsets are positive, positively correlated. This is the lemma Harris put into the paper in which he proved the first result about critical probability being one half, and very nicely put it in with apologies that, of course, this is such a trivial fact that it must be known to everybody, but he couldn't find it in the literature, so he, he puts it in. And, and ridiculously, that was the first occurrence, which I, I still find it amazing. I completely agree with him that it's inconceivable that in 1960 such a basic thing was not, not, not used by probabilists. Okay, and uh, the, the, the heart of everything is this rectangle crossing lemma about which I shall say essentially nothing, um, which, which was how, how did the, the proof go in the original 
Harris Kastner theorem. We know that crossing a square at, with if the probability of a bond is one half is about one half. So far, so good. What about crossing a 200 by 100 square uh, grid the long way? Uh, it's, uh, it should be bounded away from zero. And, and the uh, RSW Rousseau Seymour Welsh lemma tells us that that is exactly the case. That you name your favorite aspect ratio 25, and, the, and then if, if, if you have a rectangle of height 100, and, uh, and, and, and si side length two, two and a half thousand, then the probability of crossing it the long way is at least 10 to the minus 10. And once you have it, uh, you, you are in business, depends whether you finish it quickly or not. And depends how, whether you prove this RSW quickly or not, or correctly or not, as, 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 as it happens. Because one of the two proofs was incorrect. I mean, the, the, Russo Seymour Welsh is, is two, com uh, two companies. It's Russo and Seymour Welsh. Yeah, and then one, one uses the sharp threshold results, as I, I, I've heard here mentioned several times, and a very sim simple fact that k-independent percolations also have non-trivial non critical probabilities. I shall not go into that, but let me just say what kind of thing we would or we need instead of Harris's lemma, these upsets are possibly correlated, something infinitely weaker will do, but, but we can't do much better. So you take a finite poset in which the greatest element has some given, uh, sorry, which has a greatest element and has a strictly positive probability. F fix it. Now, if you take whatever power of, the, of this poset, p, p to the n, uh, and, 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 and can be anything, then two upsets are correlated according to some silly, horrible function. Ir irrelevant, the main thing is that if you tell me that the probability of, of one of the sets is, is one quarter and the probability of the other set is one over 10, then I can say, ah, but the intersection is at least 10 to, has probably at least 10 to the minus 10, some, some, some function. Okay, and, and the, the, the way one tends to use it, that if the union of lots of Lot, lot, lots of upsets is big, then at least one of the upsets is, is, is also big. Okay, and, and the sh sharp thresholds, so similar thing, I mean, there's a huge literature, uh, but, but what it's, it's always on grids and cubes and solid cubes and whatever, whatever you like. Here, again, we need it in a quite a bit worse situation. Uh, combine, com uh, but the extension itself is, is in, in spite of that, is not, 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 not nothing, nothing uh, to write, write home about, although it's not terribly simple. The, as, as I said, the main thing by far is this rectangle crossing lemma. It, and it's very much like uh, asking somebody to, to, to swim across whatever you like to name with your hands tied behind your back. I mean, that, that really is the whole point. When proving all these rectangle crossing lemmas, uh, people always used symmetry and, 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 and a lot of local knowledge. I mean, here we, we have to use it essentially with, I mean, with infinitely little local knowledge. And, and that, that's what makes it, makes it uh, non-trivial. OK. Now, are there open problems? Yes, of course, there are inf inf infinitely many. Uh, I mean, of course, the one for which you would get a, get a Fields medal is if you manage to extend Smirnov theorem for, a, for if, if, if you just do it for everything I mentioned here, you extend Smirnov, uh, then, then I'm sure that, that, that that's enough for a, for a Fields medal. Uh, which is conformal, conformal inver invariance. At the moment, it's known only in by far the simplest case. I mean, in the tri for the triangular lattice, and, and, and not even this for the square lattice is, is, is it known. 
but 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 also um, lo lots of the things I, I mentioned are are not in, in the in the final form. At least I hope they are not in the final form. Um, also, a, a sort of pie in the sky. I would love to see uh, th th this method used to genuinely approximate critical probabilities of essentially whatever by a, a superimposing or whatnot uh, some some of these lattices about which we do know quite quite a bit. Um, so. For example, I mean, back, back to Smirnov and conformal invariance, it would be fascinating to see uh, wh whether um, th th this percolation, which we know is critical, I, we, we discussed that it's critical, which is totally lopsided. So we have some probability of joining all three. We have some probability, tiny probability of joining none of them. And we have a fairly large probability of putting in the which drift, this drift. So all these edges are in almost certainly, and otherwise there is a little, little bit that, that they are all, all, all joined. So it, it looks, it looks that, uh, not, it doesn't look like the kind of thing that should be where connections should be conformally invariant. Of, of course, you can apply transformations and everything looks, looks in a different way, so, so, so who knows. Okay, I, I really my, my aim was to not not to not to tell you anything about the the proof because that that, that would take uh, actually quite quite a few lectures, but but uh, just to draw your attention to the fact that there are these fairly general mo models for which one can one can actually say fairly easily uh, what the critical probabilities are. Thank you very much. No, they, 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 they are the two, two were the same. Here they are not. Here one of them is shorted, if you like, and the other one stays big. A actually, uh, there is an obvious extension of, of, of that result, which is incredibly cheap. You take the squ squares, and, 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 and then you, you, you don't do it that the top and the bottom have the same probability, and the, and the bo left and right, but the but the top and the left have the same, and the, and the right and the, and the bottom have the same. And, and the same, same result applies, that P plus Q has to be bigger than 1, and there is, there is percolation. So, and, Andrew, what do you... So, uh, is there any reasonable way of relaxing the planarity condition? That, that would be nice, but, but, but then I mean, we, we run into the problem of, of using duality, and I mean... That 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 that's a that, that's a one, one wonderful task, but but uh, the, the answer is, of course, I have no idea. Almost certain there isn't a simple way of, of relaxing it. Yes. How straightforward or how difficult is it to construct the black boxes from the probability? Oh, no. I mean, you don't construct a black box. I mean, it's, uh, that's the whole point. I mean, it, God, God gives you these connections. You, 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 you can't look into it, how the connections come about. And they need not be, there is no mechanism connecting. That's the whole point. If, if, it, if, if, if it were a, a planar graph, then, then they would say, that, okay, here's a planar graph. But these are, in that sense, they are not planar graphs at all. Because you, you can have this, this thing which is realized, and that thing which is realized, and so on. But, but <coughs> if you're only looking at plain plain partitions that are not interlacing, you could realize yeah. them with these forests. That uh, no, but different different things need to, diff, 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 different things. No, uh, so for, so for, for for example, it's it's not the measure is is strange on it. I mean, if the measure were nice, okay, you can realize it, and in fact, and in fact, that's that's exactly the way we. We, 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 we think of it originally because there is a, there is a 
bl black box telling us which way, which way various things are used, and, and then we uh, put in various rings. Uh, so that, that's another s s set of faces and, and, and so on. Uh, and and then you 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 put them into these into various states, and that which is essentially what you are saying. And now it, it, one says that when when are two connected if there is a a black path from one vertex to another vertex uh, to another vertex, and here is a black path go, going around. And no matter what black box the black box tells you, you can realize it by uh, finitely many, many, many rings, um, ring, rings of three, three rings, and then, and then you get it all as a coloring. Yes, but the measure on the coloring is, is, is hopeless. So, for example, upsets here are not correlated. So, 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 so there is no, no chance of, of, of defi defining it properly because this very basic thing is... is uh, Actually, I, I was hoping to announce a, a, a very big result, but I'm afraid I've been let down. Uh, some, and, and, and also my stupidity let me down, of course. I, I, I had a wonderful email uh, uh, from Bombieri some, some years ago on the 1st of April. Which, which he sent to Martin Grutschel as well. And it was, and I know I have it on my damn laptop somewhere, um, or, and I couldn't, couldn't find it. Uh, uh, it was actually a brilliantly written, written piece saying that two, two physicists using the cavity method combined with the latest uh, pro progress in, 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 in nuclear physics or wh whatever, and, 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 uh, and tools of, from algebraic geometry managed to prove the Riemann hypothesis. <laughs> Uh, now, those of you who are old enough, like Yuval, did you, <laughs> did you, did you get an email from, from Martin Groeschel at the time? Ma Martin Groeschel was the main organizer of the Congress. And, and, and as soon as he got this email, he sent an email to, to everybody he, he knew, which in certain included me. <laughs> that, 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 that essentially, breaking news, the great news, the Riemann has been, has been solved. <laughs> And, uh, and, 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 and he was a bit of a fool because there were, <laughs> give, give, no, there were giveaway signs in the message. So, so I was desperately trying to find it and say, actually, I talked about uh, various results, but there is an even more important, a much more important result. I would have liked to have seen your reaction, but it was not to be. You, you didn't, you, you didn't. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually, it really is a masterpiece. <laughs> so, uh, just one more question. So, at the end, you said that because of the lopsided nature, you expect some problem with conformal invariance? Uh, I, no, it's not, okay, it's not, uh, it's not a... Uh, <laughs> this is just local... Yes, nope. true. I, I I know. So because you can by squashing you 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 you, you connect it, but 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 even then it's it's so it's so so it's really it's very different. Maybe it's just my just just my my feeling that 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 if 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 it goes for this for this and it's a very very easy easy distribution. I mean the, the point of it is is partly is lopsided, but more that it's. It's an extremely easy var variation. Um, may maybe one can prove it for that, and, and that I would find as, as, a, as a very encouraging sign that, that, that it's, 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 it's true always. In fact, some years ago, uh, uh, Oliver and I worked a lot to prove that the uh, critical probability in Voronoi percolation uh, is one half. And, uh, took us ages to do it, but we did it. And, th and that was supposed to be the first step towards conformal invariance of Voronoi. 
because if there is any percolation which should be conformally invariant, it's Voronoi percolation, which is the one you get by dro dropping uh, Poisson points in the plane and taking, take for each the Voronoi cell and then co color the Vor a Voronoi cell black or white or put it in or out uh, with the same, same probability. And uh, again, looking at it, it's obvious that the critical probability is one half. And 70 pages later, you actually conclude that it is indeed, or well, maybe it was longer. Uh, <laughs> I think it was <laughs> maybe that it is, it is one half. The trouble is, it was supposed to be the warm-up exercise. OK, let's prove it today that it's one half. And then tomorrow, we start on the real project, which is that it's conformally invariant. And, Unfortunately, by the time we proved it, we were dead tired. That, uh, <laughs> we still haven't managed to get back to it, but, but we, we shall. It's certainly one of the things we would love to do. Any other questions? Thank you, Bella, again. Thank you very much.